Hallelujah. People of God, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Depends on the place you have. We bless the name of the Most High God. We thank God for His goodness. We thank God for His faithfulness upon our life. For making us to see a day like this, a beautiful day like this, it's not about our man. It's not about our power. It's not about our strength, people of God. We need to give God the glory. We wake up. We need to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Almighty. Thank you, King of Glory. Our Lord deserves our appreciation, our gratefulness, our thanks. thanks. He needs us to be thankful to Him. He needs us to be appreciate Him. He needs us to acknowledge Him. That is what the Lord wants. He wants us to praise Him. He wants us to worship Him by telling Him, Thank you, Lord. By telling Him, Father, you are thank Father. Thank you for bringing me to this life. Thank you for giving me children. Thank you for giving me all. In what you have given me, I appreciate you. You give me, you do not give me. I say thank you. So we need to appreciate the Lord, people of God. Let's start from today. Let's start from effort. I have told the Lord. If you are not doing it before, but it's, you, as far as you are still alive, you can still have made your way. We can still change. I continue to appreciate the Lord. Continue to thank God. Continue to be grateful to the Lord. Whatsoever situation, whatsoever things, you need to thank God. We have life, people of God. Hallelujah. We are alive by the grace of God. We are here by the grace of God. We are saved by the grace of God. We are alive because by the mercy of God. So we need to know the purpose of God in our life. We need to know the will of God is our life. The will of God is in our life. It's for us to come and worship Him. It's for us to serve Him. It's for us to be obedient to Him. Because the Lord has already given us this earth. This earth will take over. But we have to serve Him. We have to love Him. We have to put Him first. The Lord is so faithful. First, Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Most High God. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is so wonderful. He's so lovely. He's a lovely Father. He's a, he's a, he's a good Father. He's so wholesome. I don't know how to describe it. I cannot describe the Lord. I cannot describe His goodness. I cannot describe His love. I cannot describe... And He's so marvelous. He's so sweet. So, Lord, I thank you, Father. I appreciate you. People of God, before we start, I have a word of God for you today. I want to tell you that Jesus Christ loves you. He did not hate you. He loves you, but the sin that is hate. He hate the sin, but he did not hate the sinner. So you, as a sinner, God did not hate you. So you know that he loves you, but God hates sin. As far as God loves you, stay away from that sin that he hates. It's not you, but run from sin. Run from sin. So God loves you doesn't mean you continue to live in sin. No. He hates sin because of that sin that you are committing. If you die the way that is not pleasing God, you will not see him. You will not see him. So the Lord is, is a good God. It's never, never, never be a wicked God. But it's our sin that is we are doing that make him to separate for us. That make him to hate us. So not you that is it. So let's run for that spirit of sin. That demon of sin. Let's run, people of God. The Lord is wonderful. So I bless the name of the Most High God for my life, for everyone, my friends, my loved one, my husband, my children, everyone. I thank God for the body of Christ. I thank God for the Christian, the Christendom, the Church of God. We are the Christians. We are the believers. I bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for He has chosen us to become His children, to become His body, to become His servant, to become. It's, 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 it's songs. Hallelujah to the most high God. Father, I thank you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, my Father. In Jesus' name, amen. I have a word for us today, but before we start, let's pray. Let's close our hand and pray. Father Almighty, I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I worship you, my Father. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done. I appreciate you, Lord, for everything. Lord, I thank you. As your word is coming forth, O oh Lord, as I'm going to speak your word, O oh Lord, let this word give them repentance, salvation. Let me not speak on my whole understanding, O Lord Almighty. Lord, speak heart of me to your children. Speak to your people, O Lord. And let this word begin to manifest in their heart. Because this word begins to change them. Everyone that listens to this word of God that has preached, they will repent in the name of Jesus. You will touch them, you will visit them. You will locate them in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, everlasting Father, eternal Father, righteous Father, Lord, I come before you, O Lord. My father had disappeared. Any flesh in me, O Lord, crucify it and speak out of me and put your spirit in me more and more to speak to your children and to deliver us all of us out 
out of sin, out of bondage, out of captivity. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cover myself with your blood of Jesus Christ. I cover this platform. I cover this wall that I'm going to speak in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I cover every soul, everyone that will listen in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus. Precious name and free with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah, people of God. Hallelujah to the most high God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I have a good word for you today, people of God. The word of God is always good. But the Bible, which is the word of God, which is Jesus Christ, is very important to, to read, to add to the word of God. This is God himself. This is Jesus Christ himself. This is the word of God that is mean to be reading. We need to be studied. This is what you're supposed to be doing, to be seek the word of God, to seek what the Lord has for you, the plan of God in your life. You need to know people of God, hallelujah, by studying the word of God, by meditating the word of God. I read this word to know that Jesus Christ Christ is the word. This word will benefit you. This word will give you repentance. This word will feed you. This is a spiritual word. This is God himself. You can see that this is Jesus himself. In John chapter 1 verse 1, he said, in the beginning was the word, hallelujah. And the world was with God. And the world was God. You can see this is God. Amen. This is God. Thank you, Jesus. This is the word of God. This is the almighty God that is speaking. In the beginning was the world. And the world was with God. And the world was God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the most high God. So people of God, let's stop addicted to God. You cannot say you want to see God face to face, physical. No. By reading the word of God, as you are reading the word of God, the word of God will be cleaning you. The word of God is a purification. The word of God is a sanctification. The word of God will make you to be pure. Hallelujah. He will clean you. He will make you to know to be holy. He will make you to be righteous. He will teach you the way. He will make you to understand. This is the word of God. This is Jesus himself. This is the Lord Almighty himself. So let us be addicted. He said, blessed are those that read the word of God. According to Revelation chapter 2. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Most High God. Let me quickly go there so that you can know, so that you can be able to study your word of, the word of God every day by day. Amen, people of God. Hallelujah to the Most High God. Thank you, Lord Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Look at this. Revelation chapter 1. Okay, verse chapter 1. Chapter 1, verse 3. It says, Blessed is he, is he that read it. Hallelujah. Blessed is he that read it. You that is reading the word of God. Me that is reading the word of God. He said there's a blessing that follow those that is reading the word of God. Hallelujah. He said, and they, and they that hear the word of his prophecy and keep those things which are written there on. For this time, it is at hand. Hallelujah. We can see blessed are those that read the word of God. And those are too blessed are those that also read the word of God and keep it. And be a doer of the word. And follow the instruction of the word of God. Hallelujah. And do the things that the word of God said we should do. So blessings follow everything by obeying him. By doing the word of God. Because the kingdom of God is at time. It's near. It's now. Hallelujah. It's in you. It's in me. It's now. So let us be addicted to the word of God. And we also want to pray that God should give us the grace to study the word, to be addicted, to, to memorize, to put it in practice. Because blessed are those that, bless, that read the word of God. And blessed are those that keep it, that follow the instruction. Hallelujah. Blessed are those that obey it. Blessed are those that do the things of God. Blessed are those that obey the word of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So there is power in the word of God. There is power in the word of God. So there is a blessing. Everything you do with God, anything you are finding God, you are not doing in vain. There is a blessing. By reading the word of God, there is a blessing. This is God. You said you love God. People of God, you say you love God. You are not studying the word of God. No. This is Him. This is Him. You see, first John chapter, John, John chapter 1, John chapter 1, verse 1. You see, He is the one. He is him. His word. His word I pronounce. The way you pronounce now, you say, ah, be blessed. You know, this is the word of God. His words. What come out of him? This is him. His words. He's the one that speaks it. Hallelujah. So when you read it, he'll be, he'll, be, he'll be cleaning you. He'll be washing you. He'll be purifying you. He'll be making you to hate sin. I love the word of God. I pray my God give us the grace all of us to love the word of God. To be addicted to the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. 
So that today my Bible verse I want to speak to talk about I want to tell you that God is faithful. Come to Jesus Christ, people of God. If you have not know you, come and know him. Come and test him. When you come the way you are, you will never go back the way you came. Because God is faithful. He has the plan for us is not of evil. Remember, his plans for us is for good. Because it's Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. So this the word is, the Lord is telling us that you are looking for peace. You are looking for peace. The Holy One that will give you peace. Jesus Christ. So I want to read this John chapter 14, verse 27. Hallelujah. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, Peace I live with you. My peace I give unto you. Not had the peace as the word gave it. Hallelujah. Wish I unto you. Let not put, let not your heart be troubled. This is where I'm going. Neither let him be afraid. Hallelujah. People of God, the Lord said, let not your heart be troubled. Don't be troubled in any situation you are passing through. Don't be troubled. He said, let not your heart be troubled. Neither be afraid. Why are you afraid to speak the truth? Why are you afraid about the situation that you are passing in the physical? Why are you afraid to stand, to tell that God, Jesus Christ is Lord? Why are you afraid to tell people that Jesus loved them? Don't be afraid. Don't be troubled. Because the Lord Almighty said so. His word. He said the peace. He said, I said, it's a peace. Peace I give to you. You are looking for peace. He said, the peace of God is eternal. The peace of God, people of God, is everlasting. So the peace of the world is nothing. The peace of the world is temporal. It's temporal. It's for temporal. It's so short. It doesn't make anything. But the peace of God is eternal. Everlasting. Everlasting, eternal. But the peace of the world is temporal. So come to Jesus and receive the peace of God. He will give you peace. He will give you joy. The peace. He said, peace I give you. It's peace and not like the peace of the world. The peace of the world is nothing. The peace of the world is anxiety. The peace of the world is problem. The peace of the world is, is, is fear. The peace of the world, nothing would come out of it. It's temporary. It's just for a short time. But the peace of God is eternal. The peace of God will give you the peace of mind. God is the one that will give you the peace of mind, not the peace of the world. What cannot give you the peace of mind? What can give you the, the peace of the, the peace of the world is temporary and it will destroy you. It will not last. It will get azerty. It will make you so sick more, sick more, sick more. But when you come to the peace of the Lord Almighty, when the Lord Jesus Christ gives you his peace, it's everlasting. The peace of God will be in your mind. It will join your mind. You will love everyone. You will not worry about the sin. You will not be troubled. You will not be, be, be worried, be afraid. Because that is the peace of God. But the peace of the world, you must be troubled. You must be worried. You must be afraid. There must be a problem. There must be one thing and the other. But the peace of God is not like so. It's not like that. So I'm just advising you, people of God. Seek the peace of God. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus and be saved. Jesus Christ is the way. John chapter 14 verse 6. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. Hallelujah to the Most High God. People of God have vast you to come and receive the peace. Come and receive the peace of God. Come to Jesus and receive eternal peace. And save your soul. He is the one that will give you life. He will give you joy. He will give you hope. He will give you everything that you desire. If Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. It says, Seek face the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And every other thing shall be added to you. People of God, let's come to Jesus Christ. Let's come. And repent for our sin. Let's seek Him. Let's find Him. Come and receive the peace. I'm inviting you. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus today. Brothers and sisters, mommies and daddies, wherever you are, over the whole world, what? hearing my voice, come to Jesus. The Lord said, The peace I will give you. It's not like the peace of the world. The peace of God is eternal. The peace of God will give you joy. You will be in love with God. You will make peace with your family. You will make peace with people. The Lord Himself is the one that will make you to do that. It's not by your strength. It's not by your power. But the Lord Almighty, when you come to Him, you can be able to do Him. When you accept Him as your Lord, as your personal Savior, He will do it for you. That is my word for you today. Come to Jesus. 
come to Jesus, you shall not be troubled no more. You shall not be afraid to no more. Don't seek the, the peace of the world. Don't seek the taste of the world. The taste of the world is temporary. What shall you profit a man to gain this whole world and live his soul? Nothing. People of God, my beloved people of God, the children of God over the whole world, world come and receive Jesus. That is calling you. Come today, not say tomorrow. Hallelujah. Tomorrow may be too late, but now, now as you are hearing my voice, now as you are hearing my sound of my voice, come to Jesus and repent. And I pray may this word abide in you. I pray may this word give you repentance. I pray may this word touch you and change your heart in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the word of God for you today. The peace of the Lord is with you. Receive that peace that you are looking for in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for the peace of God upon your life, everyone that listens to this word. Receive that peace in your mind, in your soul. In the name of Jesus Christ, the peace of the Lord, begin to receive it. I receive the peace. I receive for my children. I receive for my husband. I receive for my family. I receive for my household. I receive for my husband's family. I receive the peace of the Lord. According to John chapter 14, verse 27, I receive that peace in my mind now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you all to receive that peace too, right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. God bless you, people of God. This is the word of God I have for you. It's for me to, to encourage you that the peace of the Lord is with you. So come and receive the peace. Remember, people of God, the Lord is coming. Let's repent for our sin. Be saved and run from sin. As I said before, sin is what God hates, not the sinner. So repent and come to Jesus Christ. There is hell, there is heaven. The choice is yours. But I advise you all, I advise us too, to choose heaven. Let our church be heaven. Hell is not our portion, and you shall never be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, people of God. Thank you for subscribing. Continue to like my video. Continue to subscribe. Continue to make comments. Share to others as the video is blessing you. Begin to share. Begin to like as you do so. The Lord will bless you all. The Lord will empower us all. The Lord will make us to see him. The Lord will give us the grace to make it at the end in the name of Jesus. We will not work this work in vain in the name of Jesus. I pray for the believers. I pray for the body of Christ that the God Almighty continue to empower us to give them the grace to end this work. This work well in the name of Jesus. Although we have started, but I pray when we end the way. I pray for the church of God. I pray for everyone. I pray for every soul. Almighty God, let us hand well and help us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. There's nothing we can do by ourselves. But the Father, we are open on you. According to your word, Psalm 121, verse 1, it says, Our help cometh from you. Daddy, we are waiting for you to help us. Continue to help us, my Father. Continue to help us, my Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. God bless you. I cover this broadcast with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I cover the word that I speak, the prayer, everything that I speak this hour with the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah, people of God. God bless you all. God bless you. Bye-bye. Shalom. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Lord Almighty. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Daddy.